Hey guys, it's Amber Rock Strikes Back once again, and welcome back to my Why I Won't Watch series. This is a, this this is a series that I I don't I don't, I don't want to watch a movie, TV show, or maybe special. I guess if I can find any, all, all that stuff. So this is so basically, like I said, this is inspired by by, by the Black Critic guy, who's a great YouTuber and a great YouTube friend of mine, Nick This Thousand One, who who does his own series. And now I'm doing my own. Now this is actually my fourth video of this one. So. Now it's been a while since I did this kind of videos because at the time, the reason why was I was busy at work and I was on the holiday at Spain. So now I can now officially go back and go back and do this. But now I'm going to tell you why I won't watch Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Oh Lord. So anyway, now the reason why I won't watch it when I heard they announced this movie and they announced a horror movie, I said to myself, no, no, no. It's 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 the premise. Why the hell the hell was to see a movie featuring Winnie the Pooh killing people? I mean, seriously, he's not a fucking murderer in the in the shows, but I just want to say, no one's wants to see that. Is because it's just nice. Another reason why I won't watch it because Christopher Robin's not in this movie. I mean, what the fuck? The reason why I, I know because I, I did see in the in the um, in the, um, the the premise of this movie. I was like, what the fuck? Who? And and another reason why is Winnie Pooh himself. This is the most terrifying version of Winnie Pooh I've ever seen in my life. This isn't the Winnie Pooh that I remember growing up. It's just, he it looks terrifying. And, and another reason why I won't watch it is the story. The story it looks so cliche and predictable that we heard so many times. This is not taking the extreme guys. Here's a few points why I would not watch this movie. And another reason why I won't watch this movie is Paul Walt Disney himself is warring from his grave. If he was still alive and you see this project, he will be in disgust, in tears, he will go depression to see a wonderful fran a wonderful Disney franchise that I remember growing up as a kid, which was a huge part of my childhood. I loved the franchise growing up. I used to watch the TV shows, the cartoons. I read some. I think I read some of the books as a kid. Somewhere around that, he will be disgusted and horrified and depressed if he if he was if Walt Disney himself sees, which may rest in peace to Walt Disney because unfortunately he died. He died right after Jungle Book was released. Unfortunately, he died due to lung cancer. That, that's what I've heard of because I did watch animate, animation look like on Disney. So, and another reason why I watch it is the designs of of the characters. Just they're not good at all. So, and those are the reasons. I mean, I will give credit to this. I will say this. I'm I'm actually really gonna say this, guys. I'm actually gonna say it. My friend's Tigger Pooh is a much is way better than 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 this than this movie. Even though I hate, even though I still hate my friend's Tigger Pooh, I still I think it's the worst thing to came to the Tigger Pooh franchise. But this is literally the second bad thing to came to the Pooh franchise. So those are my other reasons why I would not watch this this movie whatsoever. So sorry to get it too short. There's only one to give it much, but I just can tell that Hollywood's ran out of ideas. That's the reason why I would not watch Winnie Pooh Blood and Honey. I mean, and now we're going to get a Bambi horror movie and a Peter Pan movie, horror movie. I mean, what's next? They're going to make a horror movie of the Care Bears? If they did that, that will scare kids for like I would imagine if Hollywood makes a Care Bears um, horror movie. That will be freaking terrifying kids for life. I mean, I mean, what's next? They're going to do a horror movie featuring Winx, Winx Club? I think that would be even worse. But I'm going to say this, guys. If they did make a horror movie featuring the Smurfs, if they make a horror movie featuring the Smurfs, if they make a horror a horror Smurf movie, I'm going to lose faith of reality. I will lose faith of reality. I'm like, no, no, no. Hopefully that would not happen because that because Bang Philly began a new animated film in in 2020. Five or 20, 20, 26, I think. The next Smurf film by Nickelodeon's movies, which I'm skeptical to be honest with that film because it's because it's one Nickelodeon movies, which I really hope that's a good film. But but I mean, so that's the reason why I won't watch it. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel, like and share your friends, and and stay tuned for more to my next what I, why I won't watch series is why I won't watch the Crude's family tree. Until next time, goodbye.